Coco is about three. Um, we rescued her from a rescue place. Um, she used to be used for fighting. The scars on her, I mean, you can tell because, the, I mean, if you look at her real close, she does have scars that will, she'll have for the rest of her life. She was one of those dogs that they stuck in a rink because she was a runt. A lot of people would put runts in the in the fighting. They would be the bait, um, unfortunately. So she was bait at one time, but somebody saw her, took her, couldn't care for her like she should have been. So we went ahead and just, you know, just went ahead and we adopted her. And now she looks, you know, she looks really good. She looks really good. She's got a lot of her fur back now. And this is what she loves right here. Just a, just a. Attention. Yeah, she the love. <laughs> She's just a big lover dog. To us, I mean, they're, they're loving. I mean, love attention. They love going for walks. They love going bye-bye. They love wrestling around with each other. They get along with the kids. I have four teenagers, 10 to 16. And they're great with the kids. They're great with the house. They protect the house when we're not home. You know, what really gets me mad and ticked off is when people ask me what kind of dogs I got. Well, I got pit bulls. Well, why you got them? They're aggressive. They bite. I mean, you know, it, it ticks me off because, I mean, a lot of people talk down on them. But I tell you, in my opinion, I've had Rottweilers. I've had Boxers. I've had Siberian Husky. And I tell you right now, I mean, I love pit bulls. I met a guy the other night up in Niles. Um... He wanted to see the daddy. He, he didn't have time to come down here and look at the puppies. And, you know, he busts out a tape measure. And it's a special tape measure for dogs to see how big the father's head was. 22 inches. Hmm. Okay, now you're looking at all these points. Okay, you're looking for the mass. You're looking for the bigness. Thinking that he's going to fight him. You know, so I will not sell him a puppy. Because my first question was, are you fighting him? Oh, no. Okay. Because he knows that now, now they know that that's, I mean, I'm concerned about my puppies. I'm picky on who buys them because I don't want them to be used for fighting. The way they look at their, they open their mouth, look at their structure of their teeth, the way they handle them. I mean, all just little signs how they talk. You know. And what they want to feed them is a big sign too. Yeah. Because when you start feeding raw meat, yeah, gunpowder. So talk about, oh, have you given them raw meat? You know, when. It's like any animal. You get them tasting blood, and I mean, they, they're, they they're, they're what, that's what they want. I want to see proof that it is genetics, and I haven't seen it. I just heard, well, they're genetically, well, they're also genetic then to the most loyal dog, and I mean, they're the most loyal dog you can have, and. Owners take advantage of that, and until the day that they stop, then unfortunately these, these little puppies right here are going to have a bad image.